Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Truth Taurus. <laughs> what the heck is the name of this channel? <laughs> Taurus Truth Tarot. Oof, that was a mouthful. Um, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Boy, what the heck is the matter with me this morning? <laughs> All right, let's get into it. This is going to be an angel message for you. So let's see what the angels have for us. Angels for Taurus, what is the overall energy for this reading? Show us clearly. What is the overall energy for this reading, please? Show us clearly. What is the overall energy? Thank you. Aww. Sorry, guys, I have an itch. Um, I love this. It's just so sweet. We have the angel of motherly love, okay, or mother love. This is beautiful because at the bottom here or over here, we also have the angel of femininity, okay? So it doesn't matter if you're male or female. We all have the feminine energy and the masculine energy. This would be a time for you to really get in touch with that feminine energy, okay? That nurturing energy of the mother. Some of you, this is healing a past relationship with a mother or mother figure um, to allow that kindness back into your heart. And this, it doesn't have to be your actual mother. It could be like an aunt or a mother figure. This is um, very healing energy, okay? This is very healing energy. And the reason I say that is I don't mind sharing my personal life. I have a lot of you already know this story. I did not get along very well with my mother. She was a, a very big alcoholic and she was emotionally abusive. So she would tell things like, you know, never amount to anything. You're worthless, all those things. My whole life, okay? Okay. Um, when she wasn't drinking, she was the kindest, sweetest person ever, but that was rare, right? That was very rare. Um, so I feel like you're healing with some of that energy, okay? So for this example, I took care of her forever. She lived with me. I took care of her and uh, even into my 20s. And then when I was like 25, I finally had had enough. And I basically threw her out threw her out. I couldn't take it anymore. I was done. I didn't talk to her for years. And then later, uh, after, yeah, it was a lot, a lot of years later, we reconnected. At that point, I knew she was at the end of her life because her drinking was so heavy. And um, she was living on the streets. Yeah, my mother was living on the streets. So it was like time for her to come home and let her live out the rest of her time. I didn't care if she drank or not at that point. I knew she wasn't She wasn't going to last much longer. However, before she could make the move, um, she passed away. So I had forgiven her. I didn't forgive what she did, but I had forgiven her. Okay, I could see why she was the way she was. Not making excuses, I could just see it. And we had a really good relationship at the end. And after she passed, we have the best relationship ever now. Okay, so there is a sense of forgiving some sort of mother energy. If that's not you, and thanks for sticking around if that doesn't resonate with you, this feels very much, very much like um, Mother Mary coming in. Okay, to let you know that you are being blessed. And it doesn't matter if you believe in Christianity or not. For me, I believe in a lot of religions because they have a lot of ascended masters and Mother Mary is an ascended master. And I feel like there is some protection, some healing, some gifts that are coming in for you. You are being blessed, okay? I don't belong to any particular religion. So, <laughs> you know, if you're watching this and you're like, well, I'm not, I'm not Christian, it doesn't matter. They're all ascended masters. So let's see what we have in the tarot. Very few of you, and I just have to point it out because it's coming out, if you are trying to conceive, if you are trying to conceive, you're going to be blessed, okay? 
but that's only if you're trying, okay? Show me clearly, angels, what is the message here? What is the message, please? Thank you. Our first card out is the Page of Wands. Yes, this is a new message coming in, okay? This is a message coming in to you of being blessed with something. Probably something that hasn't been going very well in your life is now going to be blessed. That could be uh, financial distress. That could be romance. It can be self-love. It can be a lot of things. There's so many of you watching. Um, but this is the protection. Some of you, something didn't work out and it's a blessing in disguise, okay? But something new, some news is coming in, some offer is coming in for you, and it's very healing, okay? Show me clearly, what is the message? What is the message, please? Show me clearly, what is the message? Thank you. All right, we have here the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. This is understanding. Just like I said in the beginning, I understood why she was the way she was, but I it didn't mean it was okay, okay? But you're having a new understanding of why something didn't work out, um, and now something very, very stable is offered to you, okay? So there's the news of it, and here's the actual offer. And it's the Knight of Pentacles, so it's very stable energy. So, for example, it's going to be different for all of you, but if <clears throat> this was a job situation and the other one was up and down and up and down, uh, I had this happen to a friend of mine where it's like they would always say they had work, uh, and they did, but then they'd be like, well, probably not for much longer. It's been eight years. <laughs> okay, <laughs> But that kind of energy is like you're always in a state of worry then, right? Um, so I feel like if it's anything like that where you just aren't feeling stable in some part of your life, here comes the offer of stability. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus angels of Taurus? What is the message here? Show us clearly. Thank you. Yeah. Seven of Swords. Oh my goodness, this is so, so good. And I know you're thinking, no, the Seven of Swords isn't good, but this is a different tarot deck, okay? So this is God nurturing and maintaining, okay? This is knowledge of good, cures, right? So again, in this particular deck, it is a completely different meaning um, than the standard tarot. This is like a cure to whatever this situation was i love that oh yeah look at that too uh I, they don't always have me look at the numbers on the cards and these have different numbers uh but there's a six and then a 66 angel number 666 okay we're not talking the double number we're talking angel number 666 a lot of you are going to want to look that up angel number 666 there's another message but sixes are about love they're about nurturing caring Okay. What is this here? We have four of cups. See, I told you, blessing in disguise. And this talks about healing capacity, protection. Okay, so again, something that didn't work out is actually a blessing in disguise. Something much better is coming in. It even says on here, God deflecting evil, right? So it's like you are being protected. That didn't work out for whatever reason. It's it's not supposed to be. It's that blessing in disguise. And I love the healing capacity here. So they are going to heal you, right? Mother Mary's going to come in. They're going to heal you. The angels are going to come in and heal you through a new offer. Beautiful. What is the message, please? whoa sorry i'm trying to get it out of my lap um yeah five of pentacles wow secrets revealed knowledge again on this card um 
this is your way out. I know for a lot of you, this is going to throw you off with five of pentacles and the seven. But again, this tarot deck is completely different. Um, so there is a, a blessing coming in where you felt left out in the cold. Right? Where you felt left out in the cold, there is a blessing coming in. Show me clearly. What is the message here? I think this really helps your day-to-day. -day. We have no major arcana, and that's okay. Sometimes we don't want major arcana because the minor arcana talks about our day-to-day. -day. So things getting easier, right, in our day-to-day -day lives. Thank you. Yeah, Queen of Cups. I love it. There it is. That is that is all of this right here. That nurturing, that caring, that feminine, you know, energy that's coming in to heal. And what's so great about this Queen of Cups, it does have on here uh, redemption. Like, you know, you're definitely give, being given some sort of new opportunity here. Um, and it's better. It's just, it's better. I'm telling you, it's so much better. I think that if, listen, if it was me, Taurus, I would be showing a whole bunch of gratitude in that comments or in my journal. Thank you, angels. If you don't want to, well, maybe some of you don't believe in angels. I don't know. Uh, whatever you believe in, thank them. Thank Mother Mary. They put it in the comments. Thank you for the blessing in disguise. Thank you, thank you for the new blessing coming in. Okay, show, boy, before I could even ask, wow, look at this, you are being, you are a being of the universe, feel the connection, you are never alone, again, where you felt left out in the cold, where you felt uh, things were unfair, where you felt whatever it was, it was a blessing in disguise, and they're bringing you what you need, they are truly, the angels are bringing you what you need. It's very healing. Very beautiful. I mean, I'm really, I'm really feeling blessed, right? And maybe that is a comment that you could put in there or, or put it in your journal. I am feeling blessed because something is changing in the day to day, which is going to heal you, help you in some area of your life. So Taurus, with that being said, all of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.